hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video we'll be learning about how to upload files using playwright so we'll be learning about how we can upload a single file and also we can learn like how we will see like how we can do uh, like uploading multiple files so these two things we'll be learning here in this video so let me open Google Chrome and um, so we need a demo website to upload files right so let me search like um, demo multiple uh, file upload okay so I can see one link is coming so I can I'm just opening it so this is the website we can try so let's do that uh, let's see we can uh, we can do the upload thing here uh, manually uh, whether we can do the upload manually or not so I just clicked on it and let me uh, I have created these two files this is a test file so I'm just clicking on open button you can see this got uploaded now um, now if I have to do the multiple file upload then we have to what we have to do you have to just select these two file uh, by pressing the contact tray control key and then you have to click on this open button all right so you can see uh, these two files uh, got uploaded or you can see this is calling selected now we can I um, mean this this particular scenario you have to do it okay it's through uh, your playwright script now let's see how we can do it so let me go to PyCharm and uh, now let me create under miscellaneous let me create one new file let me name it as test um, file upload edit okay so we need to get some template right so for that I can take db click one yeah this one I can take so I'm just copying it and pasting it here and let's rename it with test uh, file upload that's it okay now let me remove this part and here uh, let's put this URL so our template is ready now we can write the code so okay so first we have navigated to this URL now what you have to do you have to um, you have to do the operation for uploading right so how you do it first you have to inspect this locator this upload files choose files okay so if you see there is an input tag and there is a type called file so make sure you have this type equals to file in that case uh, you will be able to use this process or the way what what I'm showing you okay in most of the cases what wherever you have upload operation you will be seeing this uh, type equals to file attribute if you do not see it ask your uh, I mean it should be there if it is not there then you have to check with your developer okay then uh, you have to just copy this name or I can see the ID is there so I am uh, taking this ID now what I have to do I have to use page dot locator so the locator name is uh, ID equals to this one right so I can take use double quote or single quote okay anything is fine now enter dot I mean hit dot option now see we have another option called uh, set uh, input files right so we have to select this option set input files so this method if you just hover over it you can see uh, this is having uh, one uh, let's go inside this yeah so you can see uh, it takes first element there is two parameter we need to pass the first one should be the locator okay actually what we are doing we have already taken this locator so uh, here we do not have to pass the locator so there is two way we can do it uh, one is like a page dot uh, set input files and here we can pass this locator like this this is also fine so if you if you hover over it you can see 
uh, here oh, no here so you can see here and uh, like there should be a select option uh, this str where is that wait a minute just hover over it okay yeah so you can see there is a selector the first uh, parameter that should be the selector that is id equals to files to upload and the next should be the path to the file which you need to upload okay so let's do that uh, let me comment out this okay so this is the locator the first parameter this one the second one should be the path to uh, the file so that should be like our file path right now what is this file path this is a variable right we need to create it so let's create this parameter okay no not here we need it here so we need this file path to be created so now uh, for the timing what I have done I have created one test data folder here and inside that I have kept my two files okay so that is my test upload one and my test upload two dot txt txt both are the txt file it can be anything it can be a png file it can be a jpg file so just for now it is a text file now how do you uh, give this path here right I mean you need to give the file path so let's say first I want to upload the first single file that is my test upload one so for that uh, what you have to do you have to first uh, get uh, import the waste module import waste so here uh, what, what I need have what I want to so what would be the approach here right so the approach would be first get the working directory path working directory or the root directory I mean root directory this one right so playwright demo yt so this path d slash projects work slash python project slash uh, this whatever path it's showing here this path I need it so there is a very quick way or a very good way I mean I mean using this waste module you can get that path so what you have to do you have to just in the waste dot no, not here yeah so waste dot uh, get cwd get cwd this would be the current working directory okay so get the current working directory so now if I just uh, this is a current directory or working directory right so now if you want to see like whether it's printing the current working directory we can do that as well now for the time being let's comment out this part and let's run it just to check whether it's printing the current directory or not so we know like we have to use pytest test command and we have to give minus s and as that's headed and then we need to give this miscellaneous folder name and then we have to give the test uh, slash file upload right now if I hit enter it should open the browser and it should navigate to that website which we are using for uploading files now it should close it and now you can see uh, this path is getting printed right so this is working now what we need we we have reached to this path now we have to go here in the test data folder so this is also very simple so now you have don't have to hard code this path because if your machine is different okay in that this path would be different right so now if you use the same code in your machine now you it would be showing for your path whatever project you are using in that case it would be uh, your machine path I mean, it is not now machine dependent right so we have where this path is I mean this is kind of relative uh, path okay now we have to use waste dot join okay so waste dot join and uh, we have to use this current working directory comma uh, the path which we need is um, test data 
double slash i think we need to use this slash this data uh, dash dash i mean slash slash and then we have to give this file name my test upload one dot txt close the bracket and this should be our final uh, path so that is the file path okay i hope you have understood it so we have used this uh, join module of ways so there is a join method available in this ways uh, module so we have utilized that one for joining this current directory that is this one with this path okay so now you'll be getting the final path right so that should be let's print that also so that is the file path now let's run once one more time to see whether we are getting the final path or not okay so it's giving some error uh waste dot join is not working uh okay so i think i have, have used here okay so i have made a mistake here so it should be waste dot path dot join right i have used the same approach in another uh video that is open browser in non-incognito mode so if you are not sure about that i mean if you have not watched that video you can watch that as well so in that i have described something different uh, so that you can watch so now let's run it okay now we can see uh, this is printing correctly right so test data slash my test upload one dot txt yeah okay so now we can uncomment this part and uh, now now this looks fine page dot set input files and we need to pass the first parameter that is the selector and the second parameter that is the file path okay now let's give some weight here to see whether it's working correctly so set dot uh, wait for timeout and that should be four second and let's run it so you can see it was uploaded i mean this file got uploaded right so it is working also instead of this one we can use this as well so let's try that as well so this approach is also correct so here we are using page dot locator and id equals to files to upload and set input files and we have to pass the file path let's run it now So as you can see, it is uploaded. Not uploaded because my in in real cases you need to click on the upload button, but here it's just selecting the file. Let's see. But uh, now I mean that this after that we have to click the upload button. That that we are not doing here because that button is not available. I believe here, right? So that's fine. Okay. Now the second scenario that is. Uh, first one we have covered that is single scenario, uh, single file upload, and now next one is multiple file upload. So multiple file we have another file here, my my, my test upload to dot txt, right? So what you have to do here, uh, you have to uh, just similar way we have to create another file path. So that should be like file path two. Okay. And here we need to mention my test upload two dot txt. That is the second file. Here it is. Okay, and let me remove this print statement because that is not needed now. And now what you have to do, you have to just um, create a list here. And I mean, 
So second, um, here what we are what we are doing, we just created a list, and in that list we have put it, we have given this file path, the first file path and the second file path. Okay. So if you have multiple files, let's say three, four, five, six files, then you can pass this like way, like the, like this way. Okay. This is as simple as that. Now let's run it. So you can see two files is selected, right? And ready to upload. So I hope you have understood how to do the upload operation using Playwright and Python. And you can do single file upload. Also you can do multiple file upload. So that's it for today's video. If you have liked the video, do like it. And please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.